Hi, this is Jim from CableSupply.com and today we're going to show you how to uh, make your own patch cord. Um, and uh, one of the things I would recommend though is that the patch cords are so inexpensive today it might be better just to buy a patch cord. But some people prefer making their own so let's take a look at how you do it. First thing you need is uh, you need the cable and uh, you can buy this bulk cable uh, in boxes of 1,000 foot from uh, cable supply um, and uh, you, you cut off the lengths that you need uh, that you're going to need and then what we're going to do is we're going to strip both ends uh, notice we're using uh, what's called a cabler's scissors um, uh, you can also use wire cutters or, or just regular house scissors to be honest with you what you want to do though is is you want to cut off a little bit then use that pull string to pull back virgin cable that has not been nicked in any way and then you cut off the uh, excess uh, casing and if you're going to make a lot of these patch cords uh, buy PVC cable, it's cheaper and uh, of course it comes in Cat5e, uh, Cat6, I even hear the uh, that there's uh, uh, um, stranded cable. Stranded cable is a little more flexible. This is solid cable. Anyway, you cut off that excess there that might have been nicked. And then you open up your your uh, pairs. And you got to get them flat first. You want to line up the individual pairs and then we'll trim them all straight as soon as we do that. I'm going to put them in proper order, and go to our website to get the, uh, you know, the diagram of the colors. We're not going to discuss colors here; just method. Just keep get them as straight as you can. Takes a little work. Okay, now we have all the wires completely straightened out, and we're ready to. Uh, to line them all up and trim them. And remember, uh, check out our website, please, uh, for the parts and everything else you need. This is what it looks like before it's crimped. Notice that the wires are pushed firmly into the RJ45 mod plug and that the jacket also is past the crimp. Here's the crimp, so the jacket's going to be past the crimp all the wires are lined up properly they're all in there as, as far as you can push them, you see them pushed in there remember it's going to be crimped here it's going to be crimped here so the casing is going to be crimped right here and the wires themselves will be pushed down here and then these little uh, copper blades will be pushed into the wires when you crimp so now we're going to crimp push it into the crimp, you push it in as you're crimping push the wire in so it, it stays and then it will completely crimp and then now you can see you can actually see where the uh, the one part of the crimp is pushed into the the outer uh, covering of the cable the other part is pushed down so the wires don't back down and you notice that all the metal blades are pushed into the wire. There's something I take note. Um, anytime you do telecom you have to have what's called an airtight uh, connection because if air can get between those metal um, pins and the wire uh, in there then what will happen is you'll get uh, the copper will tarnish and that will create resistance and it will take about six months to a year maybe even longer but all of a sudden you'll start to have problems with the network. Uh, but that's what it looks like when it's all done. It's nice and neat. Everything else, of course, you can add a boot and a strain relief to the end uh, to actually uh, uh, give it even more. But this this will work fine. A boot will, will help you when you're pulling it out of the, uh, the conglomeration of other patch cords. It won't get caught on the clip if you have a boot. Um, 
we're going to go ahead and crimp down the other side. But as I'm talking, I'm going to talk to you about the two boots and tra strain release that uh, pre-manufactured uh, cables have. And this is one. Um, you can buy these very inexpensively. The shorter ones are even under a dollar each, uh, but that's what it looks like. And it has a little boot there that, that helps. So when you're pulling it out through other cables, the clip is not catching it. And then here's your strain relief. It's, it's something to help when you bend it real tight that it doesn't, uh, it causes the wire to bend rather than completely crimp. The other one, and this is one I like the best, I like this strain release the best, and it's molded. It's a little uh, uh, push down on the top, and this stays pretty flexible. The other boots seem to, uh, as they age, they get harder and harder to, to be able to push down on the, the RJ45 uh, mod plug release. And of course this has a strain release also. It, it just uh, helps keep everything in place. The thing I like about these patch cords, and we do sell them at CableSupply.com, is that as you can see it's an injection molding process and it's almost all the way up to where the blades are. So uh, you can see how well it's molded. It goes into the plastic almost up to the end. And it stays pretty flexible. And this is really a nice setup here. Very inexpensive. But anyway, let's get back to building your own patch cord. I'm going to do the other end and let you see what it looks like when we're all done, and then we'll test it. Okay, now it's uh, time to test the cable that we made. And uh, what we're going to do is we have a, uh, a remote uh, and we have a base, and uh, they talk to each other uh, when you turn them on and when they test the cable. So let's, let's plug them in. And it goes through a little test pattern. We've got to turn it on first. It's going to look for the remote. There it goes. It, goes, it says everything is straight through. You can hear the clicking. It's testing each pair. Nova, by the way, is our sister company, Nova Voice and Data Systems. I borrowed this tester from them. And it says passed and it's less than 20 feet and uh, it will do a it says here 10 base T but this is just a 10 base T tester you can probably even just use a pin out tester just to make sure your pins are correct on something as small as this you don't certify uh, patch cords um, again this is uh, Jim from CableSupply.com and please visit our site for all these parts and we sell testers also and uh, be more than happy to help you in uh, in uh, making your own patch cords or in uh, looking up our site uh, if you need uh, uh, manufactured uh, patch cords uh, don't hesitate to visit our site at www.cablesupply.com feel free to put this on uh, your website this video uh, please don't edit it and uh, please give us a credit underneath uh, so uh, uh, people can see what site to go to if they want to buy parts uh, thank you for watching the video.